So far you might say we've been lucky with the amount of snowfall we've experienced in New England this winter. Many areas of Massachusetts have seen a third or less of the accumulations we experienced at this time last winter. Still with months to go before spring arrives, we want to make sure everyone is prepared for all the potential dangers winter can bring for drivers. This week we asked Milford Police Lieutenant James Falvey to provide some safety tips for dealing with winter conditions on the road. There's many, many driving tips that we can, you know, people can ta take from, from the police, but uh, I think the most uh, biggest problem, I think, that creates accidents is speed. Um, when it's in winter conditions, whether it's snow or ice or a mixture of both, uh, the main thing I think people have to do is slow down. They have to, uh, under those conditions, if you got to go somewhere, uh, it may take more time to get there. So people are in a rush and they don't give it time for the cars to defrost and you know, you gotta have clear vision out there. Uh, you gotta see where you're going. It's, it's very important that, you know, of course they prepare and they want their car and they, they can see out of the car. Also, you gotta be not only your safety, but safety of others out in the road. Uh, make sure your car's cleared. If your car has, you know, two feet of snow on it and ice and you're driving around and you've got a quick stop, well, guess what? That, that snow and ice could, could injure someone else out in the street. Um, so it's good to, you know, take your time, prepare your car, uh, think of where you're going, what possibly could happen uh, on your way there and uh, try to prevent these things. Some people uh, may be young drivers and um, they have no experience driving in the winter weather. Um, sometimes some people recommend that, you know, go out into a large parking lot maybe before you have to, you get into a, a situation, you're out on the road and, and you're stepping on the brake and your vehicle's not stopping and how to, how to steer out of it. Uh, probably the best way to um, learn about that might be in a big empty parking lot someday make sure there's no, you know, no vehicles down here and uh, so you don't create no accidents while you're down there, you know, basically practicing your driving, driving skills so that if you do encounter something like that out on the road, you'll be able to get out of it. People can sometimes get caught up in uh, maybe, you know, a false sense of uh, reality. They might be driving on a main road like Route 140 where, you know, there's numerous plows going up and down and, and numerous cars and um, it's treated well, and then, and then you go into a side road that, you know, quite frankly, the, the plow operators haven't had time because, you know, it takes time, especially on a big storm, to cover all the areas, and that, therefore they, you know, they may think, oh, the road was fine, but it was, it, it might have been fine on a major road, but now you go into a little more rural area where they didn't have had time to treat them or even plow them yet, and. It, it may be ice under there. So they have to slow down. They have to, they have to be aware that not every road is the same. You have to keep an eye on the weather. Uh, I know a lot of times I check the weather uh, for, for uh, when it's getting around 32 degrees, even if it's not snowing. Uh, sometimes, you know, places freeze up and we, you know, we have the so-called black ice. Um, I had a personal experience about a month ago it wasn't, you know, raining out or, or snowing out, but there's an area on this road where water uh, flows across, and when that temperature gets close to freezing, that's when you have to pay attention. Um, even though I was aware of that road, I went into a spin and uh, I didn't think I was coming out of it, but luckily I did. Um, so people have to be aware, you know, just the cold temperatures in, in general, um, can create conditions like that that they weren't really expecting. So it's good to keep an eye on the weather. You talk about your equipment, you, you gotta have good tires. You gotta have good tires. If you have bald tires, you're not getting the traction that, you know, especially on ice and, and snow. So um, you gotta take care of your car. You gotta make sure your windshield wipers are working. You gotta make sure you, you got fluid in there. You, know, you wanna be able to see clearly. So. Um, and also, just because you have a four-wheel four drive vehicle, that helps you get through the snowstorm. That doesn't necessarily mean um, if you get into a situation you have to brake, 
um, that you're going to stop any faster. Uh, if it's a heavier vehicle, it's going to take more time to stop that vehicle. Four-wheel drives are going to still slide on ice, uh, just as much as you know, two-wheel drive vehicles. You talk about winter conditions, it's not just snow and ice, but the cold. The cold to me is a um, very dangerous situation. If someone was to break down in some of the extreme cold, and they have children, especially if they have young children in the car, um, they got a plan on, you know, in the event if something happened, um, how am I going to survive? Um, you know, they can have a cell, you know, take their cell phone, but you don't know how long help could be away. You don't know if, uh, you know, EMS or, or police and fire might be tied up um, on, on multiple calls that day or not. So, you know, it's good to, to, to just think about it and just don't jump in your car. If you've got young children, you want to make sure you've got um, items in there that, you know, everyone can survive. You want to have warm blankets, um, things like that. The final message is that, you know, when you're driving in the winter, just think of the conditions or um, check the weather. You've got loved ones. Um, you want to make sure you're prepared not only for yourself but for them. Uh, just use some common sense. And uh, uh, the biggest thing is in the bad conditions is just to slow down. Um, you, you, you can get to your destination. Uh, you slow down. If you slide off the road and then you need help, um, you're certainly not getting there as, you know, as fast as you wanted to get there. So just the biggest thing that we, we, we like to see is slow down. And I think that uh, prevents a lot of accidents.